Welcome to the second episode of the Supra build. As you know, I have a Toyota Supra and it came with a 2JZ GE non VVTi. I bought an extra engine which is a 2JZ GE VVTi and I'm gonna turbo it. I have an experience building this because I built for my BMW which is outside and that 2JZ is awesome. It's my drift car, it has around 533 horsepower, amazing. But I'm gonna cut to the chase and for this video we are going to put together the pistons and rods and we are also going to find out what is the best gap that we are going to use for our rings. This is how it works. Um, there is a, a wrist pin inside which holds uh, the rod and the piston together and there are a few circ clips one on each side which prevents the pin to not come out. Okay, we need assembly lube, one screwdriver, so I'm pointing them mainly to the front of the car. Uh, I'm just doing this to all of them. And then the pistons, it comes with the pin, like that. The rings come with it and the circ clip, M5590. Once you have it all here, the piston has a little dot in one of the sides. That dot points to the front of the engine. Now we get the pin. Put a little bit of assembly lube you do here you can put one of the pins first so this is the front i need to put some assembly lube here too this is going to protect the first start of the engine push all the way it should go smooth front front beautiful now we're going to put the clips this is a little tricky it's trickier to remove than them put in there you can see a little curve in here and a little dot in there so I'm gonna go to the longest side of the dot I'm just gonna touch it there and then I'm gonna go down here and then push down nice my pin went down like here there you go so this side is done and now we go to the other side so this other side same thing we get in there Go from the long side and then use the wall of the piston here to help this to go down. And then this last bit here, done. There you go. You just gotta be sure that it is there. So this is the second one. Now we're gonna do something very important which is gap the rings. And the reason why we do that is, I'm gonna get this one as an example because it's easier, but this is the ring, it goes in your cylinder. If, if there's no gap, it's like this. When the engine goes up and down, this is going to have a big failure and engine is kaboom. So we leave a little gap and that little gap, when the engine is a little hot, it gets a little closer, but it still have a gap. You don't want a huge gap because every time that you have compression and it explodes here the gas you don't want anything to pass through the rings and go down we're not, this is the oil ring so the oil ring goes like this you have the bottom you have this other one looks like a, a springy one and one on the top you have two other rings and the first question is how do you know which one is the first ring which one is the second one and I know mine is from Wesco Pistons. What they say is the top one, I wrote down here, is it still nitrated and it's 1.0 millimeters. And the second one is 1.2. For the next step, what we're gonna do is we're going to calculate what is the gap that we need to have on the second ring, which is this one, and the first ring, which is the lighter one. I have experienced that even though you have this little table in here, here you see uh, nitrous race only, 0070, 0 .0070. And there's a calculation. So you have the bore multiply by the number from this column or this column, depending which ring you're doing. And then you get a value. Value you get is the size of the gap that you need to put in there. I put all the other ones because sometimes if you measure here to what you want, 
and then you go and start grinding and then you realize that the last one is too large then you gotta grind everything again I already put a little bit of oil here because you don't want your ring to scratch the wall then you get the ring be sure that you have the little letter N or a dot or whatever right here pointing up and then you squeeze a little bit push in just a little bit and then turn sideways and done what I like to do is get the, the piston and just do like this and it's square so you can see that all the sides are square once you do that you know that your ring is straight so let's see if it 23 goes in okay that's the first one so you go there it slice like a knife yep it goes in and 24 might be our number 24 in there so then we're gonna know which number we have in each one of them so this is what I found out because of the cylinder number five which is the ring I choose for the five um, it has the gap is 0 025 we would love to go on 0 023 but that one is already 0 025 so everybody got to be on 0 025 so number whatever I have on number one is 0 024 which is this guy then we have 0 020 on number two 0 024 again on number three 0 020 again on number four number five is the worst which is 0 025 and the last one is 0 022 so let's do it the main thing is you're gonna get the ring the ring is gonna point up which is the little ladder or the dot here and we have these two bolts here and they are gonna help us align the ring so the main thing is the ring gotta be straight in here not like this it gotta be straight and this one gotta be touching here so we know that the ring is right there so what I like to do is push a little bit once it is in there I'm gonna go from the bottom up and it's gonna be like this one two three four four turns I don't know what's gonna happen yet so ideally we clean and I have uh, 800 grit sandpaper I just want to get the edges and done and then we're gonna follow the same process I'm gonna do like this squeeze a little bit go in there push it down <clears throat> get my two hands in here my four fingers when touch the block it's a straight it was 24 I want 25 and I want to be sure they didn't reach 26 so 25 is there great and hopefully I didn't do too much yep it didn't go so the number one is great because my second ring was 025 I end up making calculations here which turns out to be right between the two last ones and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take enough here and make it between the two last ones also so it's gonna be 0 0.023 to the first ring and 0 0.025 to the second ring so the second rings are great uh, I took the first one here put back in the casing that has number one and then I put the second ring here and this one now we need to shave a lot I think what the size is right now it is point 13 yep 0 13 and I need to go all the way to 23 so I'm going to go again and start counting so 1 2 10 11 12 13 14 so I did 14 turns okay so now you see the gap how it looks like as a 23 and this is how it looks like a stand or 13 when the engine heats up especially turbocharged nitros racing this expands but but together and there's nowhere to go so it starts getting more friction into the cylinders the pistons heat up and then you have catastrophic failure so I don't think we're gonna have that because our gaps are huge uh, we're gonna have blow by a lot of blow by though so let's see how it goes I don't plan to have too many episodes but the head is already in the works so it's gonna be episode number four just a little preview for you I am cleaning the valves and we're gonna lap it 
and very very soon the engines are going to be ready so i appreciate our support if you're not subscribed to the channel yet subscribe i really want this baby to fly not not literally but yeah you get my point you know where i see you in the next episode look past my face see status i mean he said mech 20 miles to go